Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here, back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be talking about something that's pissing me off and sorry to say that straight away, but this has to end. This has to end. There's no more mis being Mr. Nice Guy. Head coach should be fired. As soon as I said head coach, you guys should obviously think what I know. How many sports really have a head coach? Basketball? I would say, I don't even know about baseball. But we're going to be talking about the Atlanta Falcons right here. Dan Quinn. I'm sorry. He's gotten enough chances. Julio Jones, I remember saying the quote that said, It's not him, guys. It's us. This past weekend proves it was him because we led a rally. We were 21 down after halftime. We were, no, wait, we were 18 points down at halftime because it was 21 3. 21 3 at halftime. And we came back to lose 27 to 20. And the thing is, Matt Ryan wasn't even playing. Matt Ryan was injured. Our best quarterback was injured. And you want to know what the backup put up? Take, take a guess, guys. Take a guess. What do you think the backup put? If you guess... Alright, I'm going to give you five seconds to guess. If you guess anywhere from 200 to 300 yards, you're wrong. Our quarterback, backup quarterback, put over 400 yards on the offense. Julio had over 150 yards receiving. Calvin Ridley got, um, had to go to concussion protocol, so that was sad. I'm not sure if he came back out. But our backup quarterback puts up four, over 450 yards. And you want to blame the offense? You cannot blame this Falcon offense. This Falcon offense is the, one of the best offenses in the league. The one thing you have to blame is going to be our defense. Because our defense sucks. Dan Quinn... Used to be a, de a good defensive coordinator for Seattle. That's the reason why we hired him to help in our defense. But he has done nothing since he's been our defensive coordinator. We won one game so far. And that was due to Matt Ryan and our offense. Our defense never did anything. And every single game we have played, we have never... We, we have always conceded more... Sorry. We have conceded more than 20 points. Our defense shouldn't be like this. Our defense wasn't this bad last year. Dan Quinn decided to take up the defensive coordinators and head coach. I think at the time, I thought that was a good idea because he was a good defensive coordinator. You know how, I feel, how stupid I feel right now? We're 1-7. and seven, And we haven't even played any of our division rivals yet. We have, we have yet to play the C, um, uh, Seattle Jews. We have yet to play the New Orleans Saints. We have yet to play the Carolina Panthers. And we have to play, yet to play the, Car um, the Tampa Bay Bucks. Dan Quinn, we, we have a bye coming up. So if we, have, if we have to play a game before that bye, Dan Quinn better make sure on his damn life that he wins this game. Because if he doesn't win this game, I don't want him at the team. I don't want to, I don't want him as the coach. Fire Dan Quinn. That's all I have to say. This guy used to be a good defensive coordinator, but this is not Seattle. Seattle still has a very good defense. And funny enough, the team that we just recently lost against, 27-20, was Seattle. Ah. Uh. And you know what's the worst even factor? I I saw um, Matt Schwab's passer rating it was like 150. I was like, that's a per that's almost a per that's basically a per perfect QBR. And yet we lose 27 to 20. Alright, alright, I'll say this. Um what's his name? Didn't have the best of the days. Um what's his name? Russell Wilson, he only put up like 147 yards. But still, our defense sucks. We have one of our best defensive guys out because he injured his Achilles. And the fact that we played teams like... We played teams against Carolina and we lost against Carolina. We let Carolina score more than 30 points against us. We played teams like the Texans who we really should be beating. 
I don't know what to say, guys. I'm disappointed to be a Falcons fan right now. The Falcons are on the same level as the Miami Dolphins. We have one more win than the Miami Dolphins. But if we didn't win that Philadelphia game, we'd be tied with the worst record in the NFL. With the Bengals, with the Dolphins, and the Redskins. I forgot about the Redskins. We'd be tied for the worst record in the NFL. And we were in the Super Bowl, what was it, three years ago? We were in the playoffs two years ago? What the hell happened to this team? I'll tell you what happened to this team. Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn, get rid of him. I literally have never gotten so frustrated more as a Falcons fan than I am right now because I could be a lot worse than this. I'm controlling my anger right now. I could be a lot worse than this. I could be cussing right now at Dan Quinn because I am legit pissed off. Dan Quinn and this Falcons... There's nobody in the world that can blame the Falcons offense now. I don't know why now we def we fired our defensive coordinator. Yes, we did make the playoffs, but it was probably what? It was I think it was wasn't it? Wasn't it his first season as a defensive coordinator? Okay, you missed the playoffs in your first season as a defensive coordinator. What's wrong with that? But we fired our defense coordinator and Dan Quinn has to put more pressure on him now because now he's the head coach and now he's the defensive coordinator and look where it's got us. It's got us at one and seven. I hear people making jokes about our uh, this Falcons team. This Falcons team should not be made jokes of. Except for that 2016 Super Bowl, obviously that we get to I'll take that. But right now we cannot be made a joke because we have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. We have the bet one of the best wide receivers in the game. And we're one in seven. The fact that our backup quarterback put over 400 yards passing and we still lost blows my mind. I'm gonna just say this. I'll give Dan Quinn one more game to turn it over. Otherwise, I don't want him at the team. I don't want him as the head coach. I've already said this earlier. I don't want him as the head coach. I don't want him as the head coach. I said, I said like two or three games ago, all right, I'll give Dan Quinn until the end of the break. That's what I'm the owner, Arthur Blank, said. What has he done? We've lost against Carolina. We've lost against Seattle. I mean, not, wait, sorry, not Carolina. We've lost against Cardinals, and we lost against Seattle. This... Falcons team is a fucking joke. Excuse my language, but this Falcons team is a joke. And it's not even the offense that's a joke. I'm not counting this offense. I disqualify the offense from being from being counted a joke. Our defense is a joke. Right now, we have a highly likely possibility of being the number one draft pick if we don't change anything. Because let's see, let's see how many teams are ahead of us. We're right now, I think we're the number four pick. The Jets have the same record as us. The Giants have more wins than us. All right, let's so let's see the teams that are ahead of us right now. That that basically in the battle for number one pick. Dolphins, Redskins, Bengals. That's it. I think we would just get the fifth pick because of where the Jets are. And I think the Jets are actually gonna have right now. I think the Jets are gonna have more wins than us. Overall, in the end of the season, because right now our defense is shit. I am literally frustrated with this Falcons team. I don't like cussing in my videos, but Dan Quinn and this Falcons defense is literally so stupid. I'm done with this video, guys. This is like a rage video type of thing, but this is basically my reaction to the whole Falcons thing. And if you guys like these type of videos and like me going, you know, like going off on certain things, then please just smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. But other way, guys, I will see you guys all later. And one more thing I have to say, Dan Quinn, you're fired. Peace.